guys welcome to my youtube channel at design with maha in today's vlog we are going to look on to how to create an floor plan for either interior or exterior of a building so let me show you how to create an floor plan with an existing image from the google for that what you are going to do is first go to your google and type it as a floor plan you will get many kinds of floor plan accordingly whichever is feasible for you you can download it or whichever is likely to you you can download that particular floor plan and save it in either desktop or local desk and now what we are going to do is once you have downloaded the floor plan in the perspective option go for plane and draw a plane okay draw a plane and now for example let's say in the perspective view we are getting this output picture like this but in the top view we are getting it in wireframe format if you wanted to view that particular picture in same jpeg format in the top view what you have to do is here you can see this option called wireframe right click on to that and you will get these particular options click on to default shading see so that whatever you are going to create in this perspective view will also be the same in the top view for your reference or if you want to restore it to same wireframe click on to the default shading over here and you will have the option called wireframe override click on to that so that everything will become into the wireframe now what we are going to do is let me minimize this and okay here in our desktop we have this picture of an floor plan right click and go to the option called properties and there go for details and here as you can see we have dimension width and height check on to the dimension width and height of your image so that you can give the same dimensions in your parameters for the particular plane let's say 750 and 862 so what we are going to do is let me go to this and now let me click on to my modify and here we can change it accordingly see like this So you can change your planes accordingly as for length and width. Now let me show you an default option. So as soon as we are done with this, what we are going to do is let me maximize my viewport and now go to this particular option called rendering and there you will have the option called material editor and under that you will have an option called compact material editor. Click on to that and bring your floor plan inside like this and either drag and put it inside or here you will have an option called assign material editor to selection when you click on to this whichever material editor is in chosen option will be automatically selected and will be placed in the respective places and now what we are going to do is let me restore this and here let me go to my top view and let me go for default shading and let me maximize this perspective see so when you click on to the top view it will be easy for you to create a floor plan now what we are going to do is go to standard primitive and there go to the same option called plane let me maximize and show you what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a plane over here okay once you are done with this right click and go for convert to editable poly when you click on to editable poly you have various options like polygon vertex as we have covered in the previous vlog but now today what we are going to do is click to this particular option called edge when you click on to this edge see you will get this kind of plus symbol let me maximize and show you see you will get this kind of plus symbol and when you click on to this particular place and go for this more tool option and click on to this particular place
see once you have clicked you will get an more option like this see however you want you can drag it accordingly but what we are going to do is only this particular corner which has been highlighted in order to highlight this another part you have to hold on to shift icon and click both the edges see like this once you have highlighted you can drag your plane towards the end of your floor plan with the help of move tool see i'm dragging it over here and now we have completed towards this particular end right so again in order to make a u turn with your plane go to the same edge option and click over here towards the particular corner and then you can drag it over here like that what you are going to do is we are going to drag on to this particular entire floor plan in order to create an base outcome of your interior or else if you want another idea to create a floor plan what we can do is you can either go for your walls option in order to create an default edge let me show you that also so let's say Okay, let me go to AEC extended and under that we have an option called wall. So now what we can do is see like this. Like this you can create an default floor plan for your reference and after that you can place everything inside accordingly. I'm just making a rough floor plan now. I'm not concentrating onto the edges. I'm just showing it for your reference. Once we are done with the entire floor plan and also we have placed all the interiors inside, we can delete it accordingly. In order to stop your walls, you have to go for escape. Okay, now as you can see, the floor plan is ready. Let me restore my viewport. See here. Now let me maximize my perspective view. See, as you can see, our floor plan is ready. So this will be much easier for you to create a floor plan. And after that, you can place your uh, dining tables and TV, sofas, whichever is needed for your interior. You can place it accordingly so that the exact floor plan will be correct and it will also look neat when you are going to create an interior of your house so that when we are going to create a camera angle your camera will start moving inside this particular floor plan so that it will look like a 3d view of an interior of a house that's how you are going to create your floor plan okay guys we have come to end of today's vlog hope you people found it interesting and educative too if so do like share and subscribe to my channel we'll meet you in the next vlog with the same software 3ds max until then, take care. Bye-bye.